Hello, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining. Actually, you're not even here yet, so thanks for nothing. <laughs> anyway, sorry. sorry. <laughs> anyway, so um, it's uh, Tuesday. What is it today? November fifteenth. Yeah, last week elections couldn't do it. I'm not even going to go there. Not even going to touch that. Um, so tonight is um, full of really cool content. We have a special guest. We're going to do our Trailblazer Tuesday. We're going to talk about my favorite new arrival and that of um, my guest. We're going to do, of course, oh, hi, Selena. Thanks for joining. Um, we're going to do make Stephanie try it and we'll make my guest try it too because uh, she's not going to escape that fun bit. Um, then we have a prize. We're going to talk about Brazilian waxing, okay, everybody? Um, and then uh, upcoming guests and events. So, um, oh, Jackie, thanks for joining. Hello. <laughs> All right. So, um, I'm going to introduce my special guest. Um, her name is Ivory Conover. She is a plus-size singer, actor, model, dancer, and former Miss Plus Canada. So, obviously, she's a little shy. Um, so <laughs> bear with her as if she doesn't come across very, um, with a lot of presence here. Yeah, not. Um, and she's going to talk to you a little bit about, um, herself and her initiatives. And one of the things as she just shares this video for me on the computer is, um, the succulent six. So the succulent six, I'm just going to show you a picture here. To get you intrigued look at these babes and that fabulous photo I'm gonna come in close here look at all that all right so here she is come on over ivory hey 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 oh 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 there, there she live. is live live and rest, right above your head hi right. guys <laughs> good to be here Gabrielle Bebino hi thanks for joining how are you doing I'm doing great how are you um, remember everybody to thumbs up and share and uh, comment and this is very interactive so we're seeing your comments there's a slight delay um, but we're gonna respond to your questions and I'm going to hand it over to Ivory now oh, to talk a little bit about the succulent six and, and yourself tell us a little bit about yourself sure so my full name is Steph Ivory Conover or you can just call me Ivory I always say Ivory like the soap right um, I'm a singer, I'm a model, I'm an actor, I'm a dancer, I'm an advocate, and an activist. Um, I sort of do a little bit of it all. Uh, lately, I've been getting up to lots of shenanigans with these wonderful babes who Steph introduced you to real briefly earlier. This is the Succulent Six. Now, what the Succulent Six are is a group of super sheroes who have gotten together to form a collective uh, to fight back against body shaming. Um, we originally came together in May 2016 uh, in time for International No Diet Day, which falls on May 6th every year, and we put together a photo series that was called Stop the Food Fight. We did this photo series with the six of us and one of my favorite photographers, Maxwell Lander, uh, and what we wanted to do was really um, amplify uh, the sort of negative stereotypes that people have about, you know, big women, curvy women, fat women, chunky women, whatever you want to call us, you know, curvaceous babes. Uh, and we wanted to just sort of do something over the top and fun and for one day shoot the censors, stop the food fight, stop the negative diatribes that we have around food and just have fun with it. Uh, so we really um, amped up the color, uh, the color palette on this. We sort of did half uh, superhero, half Harajuku girl looks, um, you know, and we're all in, in tutus, and we took on these personas. Um, myself, I became Cupcake Charlie. We had other things like Cookie Cutter, and uh, Cotton Candy Sandy, and Bubblegum Betty, and Dirty Dotty Donuts. And the idea was these uh, sort of over-the-top superheroines uh, were fighting back against all of the nasty voices that we all hear in our heads uh, or that we hear, you know, out there in the world at large about uh, being a larger woman and walking through the world. Well, and it's like I've often thought, you know, if I'm, you know, sitting in my car at a red light and, you know, I'm obviously, uh, you know, can be, you know, seen as a plus-size woman sitting there in my car mm -hmm. and I'm eating a fry, 
you know what I mean? Or if I just got a burger, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, like, everybody, it, it, you already think exactly what, is, what, everybody what is everybody thinking out there? Yeah. Yeah. Girl sitting there yeah. yeah. When the joke is you start making those, at least I know I do, you start making those excuses in your head right away. Like, and the negative self You guys self-talk. don't even know I haven't eaten in eight, eight hours. Right. I'm on the go. You start I'm explaining running. it. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And, and so what we said was if we could reclaim one day, one day, reclaim that from body shaming and where we silence out all that. And, yeah. and literally just like live our lives, then maybe one day we can secure the other 365. Right. And so it started as one shoot. Um, it went semi-viral, which was great. So we started doing a lot more initiatives. Uh, we most recently released a photo series that was a tribute to Herb Ritz, who's an amazing photographer. Um, he became very well known in the 90s uh, for shooting um, beautiful still life portraitures of people nude. Uh, and I mean, me, I'm a performer. I have a tendency to get naked. It's a thing. Oops, my clothes fell off. Like, um, <laughs> being a dancer's daughter and growing up not ashamed of my body, it was a very weird thing to hit puberty and all of a sudden feel like I was not okay in my own skin. I've always been a bigger gal, so it never worried me. Um, but a lot of my body journey has been about reclaiming um, feeling comfortable in my own skin, and that means feeling comfortable nude, and not necessarily sexy nude, just nude nude. Like you either have one set of parts or another set of parts, and yeah. if you're really lucky, you get both sets. <laughs> but otherwise, we're human. That's how we're born. That's our birthday suit, right? And so her Brits became very well known in the '90s for capturing people almost like statues. They were um, beautiful. They were very down to earth. They were very raw, very simplified shots. Uh, I guess they were sexy, but not sexual, um, and not to say you can't be, uh, and so we wanted to do this, well, and, and, we and, and incredibly vulnerable, too, Oh, absolutely. because our clothing down. is our cloak, you know yeah. what I mean, is our, is our, our safety blanket, right, in a yeah. big way, so to just take it off, you know, and be photographed is a huge uh, expression, you know, of vulnerability. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of, of course, and so when the girls and I got together to do this, um, it's funny for me. I w- it wasn't my first time posing nude. I said, "Okay, great, here we go." Uh, but for some of them, it was terrifying. It was getting over all of those, you know, negative um, thoughts that we have that we feed ourselves and that other people feed into us, uh, and bearing off for us and for the generations that come after us, and saying that this is beautiful as well. That this is also fine art. That this is, you know, fine art. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that we can feel comfortable in our own skin. Uh, so we've got another shoot coming up actually this Sunday. And um, it has to do with poutine. It's going to be amazing. It's our Canadiana shoot. We might freeze uh, because it's the end of November and we're shooting. But we're shooting for the greater good uh, because we have we have a hoot when we're together. And, uh, you know, reclaiming our bodies and reclaiming, um, you know, positive body perception of bigger bodies is everything for us. So it's been yeah. an amazing initiative. Um, so, yeah. So everybody, um, thanks for joining us. So many people joined um, Sarah, I saw Simone earlier, Rosanna, uh, Sherry Lynn just joined. Thanks, everybody. Um, we've got a great crowd tonight. Tina, hi. Um, so, yeah, everything that we mentioned, as in previous videos, um, uh, once the video has ended, we will update all those links. So, you'll have the link to the Succulent Six Facebook page, um, the Instagram, uh, and anybody else, uh, all the other um, participants in that initiative will be named there as well. So, you know, support the succulent six and look for it May six on di- No Diet Day, right? Mm, yeah, right, that's right. All right, sounds good. So um, that leads us into our um, Trailblazer Tuesday, and so continuing with that, yeah. why don't you tell us who your Trailblazer Tuesday is? Sure. So as we mentioned earlier, um, I'm a singer, I'm a model, I'm an actor, I'm a dancer. I do a little bit of everything, but I'm also and you've an also activist. modeled for Sexy Plus. I have, right? I have. I luckily, I luckily got asked by this beautiful lady here, and absolutely squealed at the opportunity and <laughs> ran right over to her store. Um, and somebody was just telling me the other day, uh, oh yeah, it was my friend Shannon. She was saying that she loves your diversity, how you can be um, like tea time. Um, you know, fascinator, all like delicate. Mm-hmm. And then in the older one, you're like smoldering <laughs> in like this fishnet thing. That was actually the same shoot. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think one of the fun things about at least my look um, is that it really just depends how you dress me up. 
Um, and I've always had a lot of fun playing with that. And I love places like Se Sexy Plus where you really don't have to fit yourself into a box. And you have that diversity. Yeah, right? one look. And know? that's really a testament to being a talented plus size model as well mm. uh, or performer is that you're able to get into that role. Sure. Right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, right. And I think that's who I am as a, as a performer and as a whole. Like you just said right there. I mean, being an actor means across the board being able to dive in and take on a role. And it's why modeling actually came easy to me because I was a singer and an actor first uh, yeah. and then a model next. And so um, when I mentioned that I'm also an activist um, and we talk about Trailblazer Tuesday, I have a lot of wonderful humans around me at, right here, you know, you guys tuning in, um, who inspire me every day. And there's some people who are really good at keeping me balanced and also keeping me focused on what the goal is. And one of those people who I wanted to shout out today is one of my biggest collaborators, um, Maxwell Lander. So Max is a Toronto-based photographer. This is him, isn't he gorgeous, guys? Um, he's a Toronto-based photographer, visual artist, uh, graphic designer, you name it, he does it. Um, and he's actually, I mean, I'd like to say I'm one of his biggest muses, but I think he's mine. <laughs> <laughs> We've been working together uh, for about eight years, almost nine years now, and uh, you know, they, they say that your artistic potential can really be unlocked when you find somebody who, who jives with you and works the same way. Yes. And that's absolutely Max. Um, so Max is a phenomenal photographer. He's incredibly edgy. He pushes boundaries. Um, but also, he's got an amazing story because not only is he queer and a huge vocal advocate for the queer community, he's also trans. Um, and so when we're talking about Trailblazer Tuesday, it's very interesting to talk about female figures, because Max always jokes, he was a lady once, um, and now he's a really, really hot guy, and he talks about it all the time, um, and, you know, is absolutely human about the entire experience, which is beautiful, and so wonderful, and raw, um, and he actually has been with me on this body positive journey for about eight years, shooting me, and putting out really great material, but he also has recently... Um, started dragging in the male plus community, which is why I wanted to shout him out. And we don't hear a lot about that. At all. Yeah. And so he always um, says, like, one of the hardest things he did in his life was walk around in a fat female body. And he, here's the other thing about that word. He makes me use the word fat. I know it's a word that's a trigger word for all of us. I actually once fam famously was interviewed for somebody's dissertation for their PhD and spoke for three hours about how I couldn't even use that word to describe myself. But again, talking about people who inspire you, Max makes me reclaim that word. Um, and so he says all the time, there are many hard things that he's done in his life. One of the hardest things that he's ever had to do was be a fat woman. And now he walks through the body as he says, sorry, sorry walks through the world as he says, as a fat man. And it's 10 times easier. No, nobody notices him any differently uh, in taking up space. Um, his shopping experience is absolutely, you know, leaps and bounds easier. Um, and besides that, uh, he just notices that to be cl called a plus size man is almost like a joke. It's just kind of like big and tall and strapping and, you know, burly and all of these great, um, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, trigger words that are not negative. And then we always have these negative co connotations on the When on it the comes to women. women, yeah. So he's been doing these amazing photo shoots on Chubster.com uh, where he's highlighting and spotlighting Bigger men, and goddamn, are they sexy? Yeah. Um, and so as we and fashionable, yeah, yeah. And as we move through this this plus size movement, and we start to take back our space, and start to be less, um, you know, embarrassed about taking up space, because we do, we take up space, right? We're bigger right. bodies. That like, is yeah, is. literally, and yeah, and figuratively. Yeah. yeah. Um, we also have to reach out across the board and say, okay, other marginalized humans, come on out. And so, I mean, I'm queer. I do a lot of queer advocacy advocacy work. So that's a, a big you know, reach for me, but also I'm sitting there reaching my hand out and going, okay, boys, it's your time. And what an incredibly it. unique perspective Max has as having lived as both. Yes, exactly. Right. So yeah. His journey has been amazing. Um, I always come to him whenever I've got an idea for our artistic shoot. A lot of the time he, he poo poos me, uh, but we do create a lot of great stuff together. We did a tribute to Lady Godiva a little while back. Uh, we did an amazing thing for International Diet Day, which Steph will show right now. So um, look at Ivory here. This is one of the uh, images that first got my attention. <laughs> uh, and when I reached out to Ivory about um, modeling for Sexy Plus Clothing, isn't this powerful? 
sorry, the words are, might be reversed there. Um, but yeah, look at that. And that's a Max's work. So that was a campaign re-released re for International No Diet Day a couple of years ago. And uh, it's me, nude again, <laughs> covered in caution tape. Uh, and yeah. it's just, it's literally symbolizing everything that anybody who lives in, in any sort of a, a different body or in a, in a different presenting body uh, has to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And, you know, we're constantly wrapped in that caution, right? Right. Uh, and, and it's a matter of freeing that and, and uh, not letting that get you down. Um, so Max has been absolutely instrumental in every step of my journey. There's no better collaborator I could ask for out there. And uh, his work is always taking on new depths and always taking on new heights. Uh, and I love seeing what he's doing right now, spotlighting male bodies that also happen to be plus right. size, because we need to give them their space as well. You know? So yeah, shout out to Max, and uh, we'll put all the links for Max's um, social media and website and pages uh, on the video after. Thanks so much, everybody else who joined. Um, Jessica, um, Aftab, hello, how are you? We're great. Steph D. Penn, my goodness, thank you so much for joining. This is incredible. Um, so uh, that leads me to my Trailblazer Tuesday. Um, so her name is Leah Vernon, and uh, she's a blogger. Her blog is uh, Beauty and the Muse. And we met in um, 2013 in the summer, um, actually when Sexy Plus Clothing was downtown on Yonge Street. And I was at an event, and I had a contest, and she won the prize. So she came down to the store, and we've connected uh, since then, and I've watched her create some really inspiring content. She defies conventional fashion rules, um, and her blog and her popularity are exploding. She's been featured in a number of magazines and publications, and she recently agreed to do a look for Sexy Plus, which I can't wait to see. Um, so here's Leah Vernon. So look at her. Ow, ow. Look at that styling. Isn't she beautiful? Such a babe. I love how she put that together. Look at those glasses. Aren't they amazing? Jessica Ann, thanks for joining. Hello. Here's another picture. I mean, her pictures are just scroll stopping, right? Look at that. And this is um, related to one of her most recent blog posts about beauty diversity. And um, you should definitely take a look at Beauty and the Muse. Um, here she is again. I just, usually I print out one picture for my trailblazer and I just couldn't help it. I had to print out so many of the very beautiful Leah and here is another one and I wanted to read you a quote related to this picture look at that and the photography I'm sorry I didn't uh, make note of the photographer but I will put it later in the video so I wanted to read you a quote um, relating to that last picture that I showed you she says that that is <clears throat> the high fashion expression you make when you continually break ignorant stigmas attached to your Muslimness your fatness your blackness, and all the other little categories shitheads place you in when they can't contain or explain your coolness, <laughs> your awesomeness, your differences. I keep thinking back to a time where I wasn't even myself. I was a fucked up version of someone I thought I should be. Why? Because people made me feel bad for being me. Oh, the things I've learned in my 29 years of life. I take ne negativity now, and I crush that shit up. I add honey, glitter, some berries, and I make a tasty ass smoothie. Um... <laughs> So definitely, um, you know, she's a trailblazer. She's inspiring. Um, she's a, a blogger, obviously, um, beauty diversity advocate, a political and cultural writer. She's done some modeling, and she is uh, definitely a style queen. Some of her recent blog posts are, this is what real body positivity looks like. I showed you a couple pictures of that one. Another one, I wanted to be a white girl. Definitely worth a read. And another one I noticed, um, I'm Muslim, but I'm not the poster child for Islam. Um, so all her writing is honest, provocative, and refreshing. So special shout out to Leah Vernon. Here she is again. And her Facebook page is um, Beauty and the Muse. Um, her website is beautyandthemuse.net. And her Instagram is uh, lvernon2000. So please, everybody, go give her a follow. Thanks. Look at all those thumbs up. Ophelia, thanks for joining. Yeah, go Leah, right? Hi, Beauty. Uh, Lindsay, hi. And Nicole Rees. Yeah, she is indeed beautiful. 
Um, okay, wait, wait, we have another trailblazer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. <laughs> so Steph only, you know, Steph usually only allows one each, but because I'm so extra and because I am all of the things, uh, I brought her a huge list. Like, I could trailblazer Tuesday for days and days and shout out everybody if I had my brothers. Look, see, I've taken over. <laughs> um, but she has made a special exception and allowed me to plug one other um, trailblazer who's really close to my heart. So I gotta give you guys a disclaimer. Here's the thing. I'm gonna talk about an amazing place and I need you to not quantify it as uh, me endorsing because this is also my family who runs it. Um, about eight months ago, uh, my sister opened up a shop in East York on uh, Danforth and Coxwell. It's called, called Broad Lingerie. And the idea was to provide a one-stop shop for fuller busts. Now, I am a busty lady, as you can tell. There's a lot of boob in this shot. Oh, boob. Oh, so many boobs. Um, and I remember growing up and not being able to find a bra that, that fits, which, oh, boo-hoo, that's, you know, terrible. But the thing is, um, ill-fitting clothing leads to, you know, ill-fitting perceptions of yourself, which leads to poor self-esteem, at least myself, it did. Um, and I remember when my sister discovered a place, because she's busty as well, uh, she discovered a place where she got properly sized. And I remember who she left the house as and who she came back as, and it was mind-boggling. And, and, and it's, it's just a bra, but I bet you it changed her life. It literally did, right? And so the thing is, um, that sparked Sam's passion, her name's Sam, uh, for lingerie. She's worked in the industry tirelessly for the last 15 years, and um, she's very busty, but she's actually not plus size. But she understands what it means to be anything fringe. And again, just linking back to what I was talking about earlier, is like being from a marginalized group of any kind, being different. Oh, um, look, you got a DES broad. I'm dying to go there. Love it. Yes. Yeah, right? Yes. So um, being from any sort of a marginalized group, um, it's so important to band together. And my sister took this cause on and finally made the leap um, from where she was working as a buyer and a fitter and as just, you know, bra fitter extraordinaire to running her own shop. And so what she does is she carries everything from a size D and up. So, you know, it's not your Victoria's Secret. It's definitely not your Edition L lingerie. It's absolutely uh, boutique, hand fit with love, um, proper fitting bras. And what she does um, best is she, she makes sure she brings in things that are affordable. Because the other thing is, uh, her slogan is buying a big bra doesn't have to be a big deal. And it does become such a big deal for so many of us. You know, you have your one bra when that we've you been deprived. Out. Oh yeah, completely. Yeah. Or you know, you end up going to you finally find a boutique that actually carries your size, um, and you end up spending an arm and a leg. And yes, that happens. Let's treat ourselves. But at the same time, the same way that you would buy shoes that have proper support, it's really impor important to support the girls. And I I cannot speak highly enough of her, not just because she's my sister, because I got I lost lucked out on the sister lottery. Sorry guys, <laughs> I really did. Aww. Um, but because what she's doing is is literally bucking the system right now, because she's turning around and telling you know all of these other major retailers that there is a huge niche here that's not being filled. Like hmm, funny, like this trailblazer over here did with Sexy Plus, right? Um, and so I had to give her a shout out because she absolutely changed my life all those years ago when she got fit properly because you know what? It meant this kid got fit properly soon after that. And she has been my one-stop shopper <laughs> for my lingerie for the last mm, 20 and, years. And honestly, every time I see you, I'm like, wow, like how come your boobs look so great? Broad Bam. lingerie, right? Absolutely. And uh, I actually visited Broad Lingerie a few months ago um, and I did a blog post on it too. So here. Here's a picture of my boobs being Love properly it. supported. Um, that's on my Instagram page, uh, but on chassisplusblog.com, there's the full review. And then um, let's just share share that. And so yeah. the, the importance of getting a good fitting is more than just buying a bra from her. It's literally knowing your size so you can walk into any store and get a good bra and get your good fit. It's like, imagine that most, you know, 85% of women were walking around wearing the wrong shoe size. Right. Okay. That's bras right yeah. now. So this yeah. is so, why and I have that to affects, say something about it. And, and that affects your posture, everything. your knees, your self-confidence, right? It would affect so many and things. And it also affects how your clothes fit. And we're sitting here in this beautiful clothing store, 
And I mean, step one about wearing the perfect dress is wearing the perfect proper, a proper right? Gar- yeah, bra for and sure. So, because I'm doing two and <laughs> lots you know, of thumbs up for boobs <laughs> yeah, we're getting here. All the boobs. <laughs> because I'm doing two trailblazers, here's the link, okay, guys? Because there's always a link across the board for me. Um, ba 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 bam. I modeled for broad because I am busty, and I mean, maybe she hired me because nepotism, and I'm her sister. Ha <laughs> ha. But also, um, she wanted to show diverse bodies in her advertisements. She wanted to make sure she wasn't just doing, you know, slim girls with big boobs or big girls with big boobs. She wanted to do something across the gauntlet. Uh, so we've actually appeared in Toronto Life magazine wow. uh, and a bunch of other great, um, you know, newspapers. And guess who shot the picture? Max Lander. So that's how I wrap up my trailblazers. I like to keep my friends close and my family closer. Um, and there are so many wonderful people in this city doing amazing things. So it's just, you know, I overflow with joy to be able to shout out people like this. All of you guys there who are talking, this gal beside me who's got me here. Like we live in a time right now where we're so interconnected and you can hire your friends and promote their work and do what you love. And it's, it's really, and it's so easy to support each other. It's so easy. It really doesn't take a lot. Right. Absolutely. Um, and I think that. As a matter of practice, I kind of have been doing this forever. I just, when you see something that you believe in, it, it, whether you believe in family or not, just shout them out. Absolutely. And, and I think everybody should do a little bit more of that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, we're, a candle we're, loses no light when lighting another, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And the thing is, is that, you know, for those of us that are in the industry, we're so focused on growing our following, growing our brand, increasing brand awareness, that we sometimes forget that it just takes one little post or one little phrase to tag and support somebody else, yeah. right? So, um, you know, here's to all our trailblazers for today. Um, the links will be there. Go follow them. Go to Broad Lingerie. They're uh, on... 763 Danforth. Danforth. Just east of Coxwell. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful boutique. And Sam is uh, so kind. Uh, she's not pushy. She's not uh, like she's, me. She's <laughs> <laughs> not that I'm not kind. You. But I'm, I'm extra. <laughs> she's um, not like this. Yeah, she's very, very soft-spoken, <laughs> very gentle. Very gentle. Uh, she's not pushy. She just wants to help you find the right bra, kind of like a sexy plus clothing. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I just want to help you find the right garment that will make you feel fabulous, you know? Um, okay, so, wow, thanks so much, everybody. I mean, I'm getting and crazy, hearts, crazy down. hearts and thumbs up. Katerina. Shannon, Shannon mentioned earlier how she loves the boobs. Thank you. We love the boobs. <laughs> um, Sarah likes that saying, right? When you light a candle, you know, yeah. the other one doesn't get dimmed at all. Okay. Yeah. So that leads us into our uh, next uh, segment, which is uh, our favorite new arrival. Um, so I'm going to show you mine, and I'm going to show it to you in first on our, if you haven't been to the Sexy Plus Instagram page lately, you should go. Yeah, because it's pretty darn hot yeah talk about boobs sorry <laughs> right <laughs> not in this one in the yeah. other one yeah. this one so this is my favorite new arrival here and here's plus model sarah taylor sarah taylor's journey is her tag modeling my favorite new arrival so it's the extreme slit um plus size maxi dress um not extreme slut um, <laughs> because it has extreme slits just extreme <laughs> slit <laughs> So I'm going to go get it over oh, there. Here, here's a secret. It was actually one of my favorites too, but we're not allowed to pick the same thing. So, just saying. So here it is. It is a chiffon yeah. fabric. And, uh, you know, the, the, the slits are fun, and Sarah modeled it quite well, but you could wear leggings. And um, anyway, so there's a couple of ways to wear this. So what a fabulous piece for the holidays if you don't want to be in a conventional... Um, you know, ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Quite far from the ugly Very Christmas true. sweater, right? Um, so that's my favorite new arrival. What's your favorite new arrival, people? Have you been on Simone Loves It? Yeah, Simone, you would rock that, mm-hmm. actually, on stage. Simone would totally rock that. Um, have you guys been on the Instagram or on the website? What's your um, favorite new arrival? Tell us. Um, Ivory, what's your favorite new arrival? I've got mine aside ready to from, go. Aside from the one that I picked. Aside from that one, because <laughs> great minds think alike, my other favorite one is the Whip Faux oh, yeah. Leather High Low oh, Skirt. Fine. So here is the gorgeous Katarina Moda rocking the Jesus out of this skirt. Can y'all see that? Look at that. 
what is actually happening in that picture there. There's so much hotness. So sorry about my dim screen that I'm trying to show you, but this is the skirt live and in living color. It literally is the skirt of my dreams. You could dress it up with, you know, a nice heel and a, and a beautiful lace top. You could dress it down and make it funky and wear it with an army boot, which like, I would probably do. Yeah, I really like the nice. edgy look. Or like the way Katarina did it in uh, the picture you just showed. With a graphic tee. With a t-shirt, yeah. Um, so it's a full leather. It's actually stretchy, folks. Yeah. Um, good price And point. light. The biggest thing that I notice about leather and faux leather is that you it gets breathe. sticky and you sweat. Yeah. But this actually flows. I don't know how they've done this, but it's beautiful. I feel like if you'd spin, the actual thing would take off, which is really yeah, nice. Yeah, very dramatic. Yeah. Um, so that kind of leads us into our next section. Sorry if I was talking far away there, folks. Um, Yes, Katerina looks good in everything she wears, Simone says. That's Damn true. right she does. That's true. We love um, that girl. Okay, so um, now we're going to do the Make Stephanie Try It segment. Um, so take a look quickly at the Instagram page um, and come back or stay here with us. Sorry, I'm just going to show you around so you can pick something here. You can see. And, oh, doesn't the store look beautiful? Um, it's all ready for the holidays. And my amazing merchandiser and friend, Stephanie Gravel, uh, she comes once every three or four months and redoes it for me. And so there's, you know, the red dress behind me. That one, that one, we don't have my size. Um, so I can't try that one. Let's see. Um, okay, people make suggestions. What do you want me to try? Do you like this black cross over here with the lace sleeves? Um... Keep going here. This is the one I tried on last week. Everybody loved that one. That, that one looked great. Um, try the rose dress, Katerina Moda says. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <clears throat> um, Shannon says, I want to see you in the rib cough that Esther wore in the diamond crisscross insets. Um, <laughs> very specific, Shannon. Thank you. <laughs> um, Sarah wants to see the red dress from Saturday. Lindsay says, I'm with Kat. Okay, wait a minute. Can I go back here and see what cat? Try the rose dress. Yeah. All right, yeah, all right. I'll say rose dress too. All right, the rose dress. Okay, so I'm going to hand you guys over to Ivory while I go. Aha! Try on the rose me. dress. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea. I mean, it was a great idea. Everybody wants me on camera right now, right, so, guys? <laughs> and you can um, ask them to suggest what they'd like you to try. Yeah. Okay, so here's the good thing, right? I didn't really play with dolls growing up. I actually played with Barbie horses and not Barbies so much. But today I get to be your Barbie. And so is Steph. So while she's in there changing, if you guys want to go on the Sexy Plus uh, Instagram page and find something that would look cool on me, or maybe that would look funny on me and you just want to laugh at me, <laughs> I will be your doll. And I will happily go in and change. Um, disclaimer, I do get a little sweaty when I'm changing, so I'm sorry in advance if like you know the curls fall and whatnot. But there's just so much stuff there uh, on that site that looks good on everybody. And so what's great about this segment is we get to show you how it looks on different bodies, different body types, and how different people would rock it. Uh, mind you, we can't fully accessorize because, you know, we don't want to take up your entire night. But at least you get the idea, right? I'm ready. Oh, she's ready. Here we go. Ready, guys? Oh, what a babe. Such a babe. Good call, Katarina and Sarah. I love this. Can you give them a spin? Let's see the backside. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. This Coming dress is amazing. Yeah, uh -huh. like that. There we go. Perfect. Oh, man. Hi, everybody. This is gorgeous. So it's off shoulder. It's got a long sleeve. It's got a little flare. It's like fitted through the body. And then it flows out a little bit. I'm in love. I'm wearing it with, you know, I have my leggings on and my boots from earlier. Yeah. But, you know, picture this with, with a heel and Beauty. a cigarette. Hey! <laughs> so have you guys decided what you want Ivory to try? Let's see here. Um, love it. Nice, beautiful. Um, the blue dress you would look amazing in, Gabrielle says. Oh. Hmm, I'm wondering which blue one. What's the blue one? Was it over here? Maybe it was, Gabrielle, was it this one? This one behind me here? It has a jacket on it. So you can't see it very well. Um, there are a couple blue dresses. Just past a blue dress. Oh, this 
turquoise? Oh, the turquoise yeah. one? Maybe. Um. Do, 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 do. Let's see, people. The red lace with zipper up the front. Ooh. Oh, we want to see ivory. That's a good one, guys. Hey, I like red lace. I'm in. Okay, so this one. Oh, wow. Okay. I love it. Here I go, guys. All right, so while she goes and tries that on. So the one that I'm wearing is, uh, again, it's called the Rosette. And it is... I think 89 and uh, it we have sizes 12, 14, 14, 16 and I think 16, 16 left, but you can go see that on the website. Sorry if I'm making a bunch of scratchy noises. Um, and Katerina says and pull that zipper down baby. <laughs> Thanks so much everybody. Your uh, you know participation tonight is just fabulous. Um, I keep getting these notifications that it's like your best video yet, your best interaction yet. Great show tonight, girls. Thanks, Shannon. <laughs> and all those thumbs up. There we go, Selena. Um, so yeah. Um, oh, our next segment. Uh, well, after. So we're going to talk about the prize. Actually, I can talk about that now while <clears throat> Ivory's changing. So this week's prize is a $25 gift card for Sexy Plus Clothing. And in order to be entered to win that prize, and listen, people, your chances are really, really good because uh, there's about, I don't know, 30 to 40 entries. So your chances are like 1 in 30, 1 in 40, 1 in 50 if this video goes crazy. Um, so if you want to win the $25 Sexy Plus Clothing gift card, um, share this video now on your timeline and then just come back and put shared in the comments and then that's how I capture your entry and I think I hear Ivory <laughs> creeping up, <laughs> creeping up again, look, again, look at those boobs, hey. right? So I tapped my clothes on under because I didn't want to keep you guys waiting, but look at how cute this is, right? Hey, oh, there's a little butt, there's a little side. Yeah, so this is a lace, um, we call it a mini dress because the, the lining only goes till here yeah. and then the rest is lace. All so leg. You, yeah, so you can show a lot yeah. of leg. You can wear <laughs> leggings if you want to be more modest. Um, you know, zipper. Kat wanted to see some zipper action. Yeah. Oh, the zipper. Oh, all day. Look. All the way up. So, yeah, and that. This is actually really wow. cute, too. Right? Really cute. Really sexy. And if you sexy. get your hair up. Wait. Wait. Here we go. Updo. The 30 second updo. I'm the queen of this. There. Wow. Very nice drop earring. Yeah, it's beautiful all the way up. You can show some more cleavage. People are loving this dress. And guess, yeah, I know. And, ah. guess, and guess what, people? This dress, 60 bucks. What? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't check the price. <laughs> hey. All right. Okay. We may I'm not have this husband. dress anymore. <laughs> this dress is going to be gone. And so much what's left in our bank account. <laughs> and it comes in black, too. Um, Thank you very much, Ivory, for being a good sport and trying that on. Um, okay, so I was saying to share the video and uh, then come back and comment shared. Um, so, yeah, I don't have a winner from last week because last week was the um, elections. And there were no winners. Yeah, there were. There were <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard her, but she said there were no winners. She's so right. There were no winners on my little Facebook live show, and there were no winners in the United States. Not the people inside. And in the world, yeah. Um, okay, so that's the prize. Um, my next segment, wow, thanks so much, everybody, again. Um, you guys are amazing. Um, so my next segment uh, is I wanted to talk about um, Brazilian waxing, and the reason is because, oh, wait. Let's get you back in here. So, um, when I first moved to Toronto from Montreal, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, um, I, I found it very hard um, to find somebody that I felt comfortable getting a Brazilian wax from. Yeah. Um, and uh, I went for a long time without, <clears throat> even though I feel better with. It's just a personal, you know, grooming choice, right? Uh, and I mean, as a plus size woman, you know, getting a Brazilian wax, you know, you've got to assist. You've got to hold up the belly. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you've got to like. <laughs> mm -hmm. You've got to you've got to stretch the the thigh skin. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, you've got to do a lot to assist, and it's and it's a very very intimate procedure. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it took me up until recently. So it took me ten to fifteen years of living in Toronto to find somebody that I was comfortable with that was, um, you know, very professional at it. Um, like as a professional doing that kind of thing, you can't have a reaction. The struggle is it's real. Okay, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, the, the reactions I've gotten. <laughs> Right? Like, as a professional, you should just be like, mm -hmm. yeah. and turn over, please, yeah. and over here. Yeah. And if I could just get your assistance there. Yeah. And, you know, and that's how it should be. And that's, and, you know, uh, or I've gotten into somewhere, I'm shoved into a tiny back room. Yeah. Uh, they keep opening and closing the door. Yeah. And I'm spread eagle. Spread eagle. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And they're like, you know, be back in one minute. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, what is happening? And uh, it's interesting that Leah, actually, my trailblazer, who I shouted out earlier, did a Facebook live video yesterday, mm -hmm. only showing her face, of course, of her actually getting a Brazilian. <laughs> so her. if you guys want to go check out her facial reaction She's for her first, woman for am. her yeah, for her first Brazilian, go check out her page. She did a Facebook live on that. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about it and see like what has your experience um, been, folks, with you know getting waxing done even if it's not necessarily a brazilian but just getting waxing done you got to get undressed it's it's an intimate you know armpits right like you've got to you know help hold you might have a lot of skin here to hold yeah. and stretch the skin for them um so tell me about your yeah your i have more stories I'm, I'm shaking my head in shame back here because okay so my whole life reads like like a very glamorous like how not to be cute um, so I went to get a, uh, a Brazilian the one time in my life, one time. I've always shaved. And I get... Oh, and, and before, if, in case anybody doesn't know what a Brazilian is, yes. uh, it's actually waxing all the hair. The full Monty. Uh, the full Monty <laughs> in front and in back, oh, yeah. right? So that's what a Brazilian all is. The things. It's not a, what do they call it? It's not a bikini. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's not just yeah. like where you can like, you know, put your hand and they just do yeah, like no, here and here. No, it's, it's like it's, out there. It's all in there. They yeah. actually like yeah. the lips and everything. <laughs> They, yes. they, they get it all. You're like, your JJ is like pre-puberty after that, which is kind of, let's kind of get it. <laughs> so, okay, so go. So my horror story goes like this, and I've only gotten a Brazilian once in my life. I'm mixed, I'm half black, half white, and um, I used to get terrible razor bumps. So I decided, okay, here we go. We're going to go for waxing. It's going to be a thing. Yeah. So it was weird enough having always shaved and just dealt with the razor bumps to having to grow it out. But I was like, okay, that's the thing that you have to do for waxing. No problem. I went to my nail place. Because I liked how they did my nails. Yeah, and it says cute. waxing and other services, yeah. right? So, so I went not? to Banana, my favorite nail lady, um, and Banana said that she couldn't do it that day, but she put me in the back room. With Wait, was that her name? Her name is Banana. Okay. And she's very proud mm -hmm. of that. She okay. said when she came here, um, she's Vietnamese, and she got to choose her Canadian name. And so she chose Banana. <laughs> her face, her, she's adorable. <laughs> so, I mean, I like Banana a lot, so I thought, okay, I'll go with you know, banana, but she doesn't do that kind of thing. When I told her that I wanted a Brazilian, she looked at me shocked, like as if I had asked to sleep with her. <laughs> and, and, do, and and just because she didn't do Brazilian, period, or she didn't do it because I don't know you if were it was more... I was a bigger body, but she's like, body. no. Right. And then she pointed me to, you know, her co-worker, Rosa. So fine. I go into the back with Rosa. And I strip off. Uh, she turns around to warm the wax for a bit. And I'm just like, out there, like, ready. Right. You know, yeah. and I'm holding up my little belly and I'm, I'm ready for her. And she's staring at my boobs and goes, oh, you want me to hold them? And I say, no, they're okay where they are. Thank you very much. Um, and, you know, I kind of gesture towards my Yeah, like we're doing down say, here. Can, can we get started? She goes, okay. And, you know, like pats my boobs and starts with the first strip. She puts it on and she rubs the paper down and then pulls. And I shriek because I'm a wimp. And I sort of sit up a bit. She grabs me by the boob and smacks me back down on the table and goes, it's okay. And so the rest of my entire Brazilian went, rip, <laughs> it's okay, boom. And literally, like by the boob, every time. <laughs> how, Pull. how awful. It's okay, boom. <laughs> so oh by the time I was done, back of my ass got bruised. Because like... she slammed me up the table, my boobs all sore and whatnot. And then she just looks at me and she jiggles my belly softly and goes, you did good. You have kids? And I go, no, no kids, just my belly. And she's like, oh. And just walks out. Yeah. Doesn't say a thing. 
So like, nothing. And I'm like, you you basically just like molested me this entire time, which like okay. And I don't mean my lady bits. I mean like the boob grabbing. And then body shamed me because I have no children. But and yeah, you have a belly. my belly and then left the room. And yes, I was naked as the day I was born. Right. You know, down there too. And I mean, I guess it was done, but I, I never went back. Like, um, yeah, and that's know. the thing is I think that I think that many of us have probably had very similar experiences because I think a lot of these um, not so professional uh, you estheticians, know, esthet esthetician. yeah, esthetician. <laughs> um, don't know how to deal with, you know, that service and much less that service to, like you said, a bigger body. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so that's what I wanted to share and uh, I think Jackie you were asking if I know a place in Brampton yes that's the whole point folks if you have found somebody in your area because I mean you know this Facebook live is far-reaching uh, you know put it in the comments mm -hmm. the, the, the clinic that you go to that you have received good service uh, name the um, esthetician who you work with um, personally I found Han which is H A N H Han salon and spa I'll put the link after the video ends. Um, it's a very nice, like, um, fountain trickling, you know, gentle music playing. Like, it's just a nice environment. It's not like a noisy, tiny back room that I'm shoved into where they keep coming and going mm -hmm. from. Um, yeah, like, even when they open that door and they kind of, like, scoot out, like, there's people walking Yeah, around. oh, yeah. You're just, like, out. You know, and then there's, there's like the token husband guy who works in these places. Always, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Just like walks by. Yeah. Anyway, so hand salon and spa, and uh, I, um, my esthetician, uh, her name is Valvite, and she's just lovely, and the prices are amazing, and I don't feel judged at all. I feel very well taken care of. Um, so do you have a place, Ivory, that yeah, you so, mentioned? So after that whole experience, I still see Banana for my nails because she's like my gal. But I didn't let them wax me above the, uh, you know, above the lip. I sorry, below the lip. Above right. fine. Yeah. Brown yeah. Lip. <laughs> yeah. I didn't let them wax me below the lip again after that because I was terrified. I actually took the plunge and went for laser. Um, and so I've been getting laser hair removal for almost oh, three years. Okay. And um, I just go for maintenance treatments now. Uh, originally, it was once every six weeks. Uh, and now I sort of go once every two months for touch-ups. And I go to Dermedica Spa. Uh, and they are at... I don't even have any West at Avenue because I'm a downtown Toronto girl. Okay, but isn't laser super expensive? And no. No? Here's no. the great thing. Okay. So I'm going to share my <laughs> deal with you guys right Amazonic. now. Amazonic. Boom, boom, boom. Ready, 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 ready. Here's the deal. <laughs> so I got a deal on Deal of the Day. Oh, my God. Wait. One of those wait. Hang on. Yes. Stop. The, who here wants Ivory on the... As a special guest every week. Isn't she amazing? <laughs> <laughs> She's like the life of the party. How am I going to do it like next week if I'm alone? I'll just, I'll just creep in. You'll see me knocking at the window. I'm like, oh, I'm oh God, here. let her in. <laughs> so All right, go. I got a deal two and a half, maybe three years ago. Groupon? On one of those Groupon deal of the day things. Yeah. I got um, $199 for one year unlimited laser hair removal at Dermedica Spa um, for four body parts. Right. And so I went, four body parts. Well, I really only want my lady bits, and they can use all the body parts on that for all I care, yeah. right? So I went there and talked to them, and at my consultation, they explained that a, um... You're like, I would like my vagina, my muffin, <laughs> my quad, <laughs> and my <laughs> cookie. And my date. <laughs> <laughs> and so for? I was talking to them and said... Uh, all I really need are my lady bits. And they said, okay, you can use all four, but that will only be, what's the other one we said? Not Brazilian, but... Bikini. Bikini. That's only, four body parts is considered a bikini. If you want the full Monty, that's six body parts. Right. And I said, six? And they said, well, we can we consider like an eyebrow a body part. And so, you know, one, two, three body parts. Okay, fine, great. So my lady bits are six, fine. So I think I spent two twenty five. They made me pay an extra twenty five bucks or whatnot, and I got hooked up with the most fabulous woman in the world. Her name is Sogand, S O G A N D. She's Iranian, and you want to talk about somebody who does not flinch when they are like face deep in your bits? That's her. Like, yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. My legs will be out there, and she is going at me with the laser, and 
she's talking about what her boyfriend made her for breakfast and, you know, is my husband outside waiting to pick me up and where did I get those great shoes? I'm thinking, am I still wearing shoes at this point? You know? <laughs> like, I'm fabulous. Just, Look at my shoes. Right? And just lovely atmosphere. And here's the great thing. I got the deal two and a half years ago. So it expired, right? Yeah. She has let me renew at that price. So like 200 and change for the last two years. And... If you go to her and you mention my name, so say Steph Ivory Conover sent you, she gives my deal to other people, which is wow, ridiculous. Folks. Wow. And, and, so, and, and maybe like if somebody didn't want to get it necessarily for that region, oh no, you can they could maybe get it for, yeah, well, um, like I, for me, it's here. I, I turned around and got my ar armpits done too because it just, it honestly made sense to me when I saw right. the difference down there. I, yeah, and, I, the, and the low maintenance for the underarms absolutely. for sure, right? And I was, again, like I said, I'm mixed, so I absolutely got my mother's coarse hair, and so I used to get three, four, five hairs growing out of one follicle, so when I talk right. about razor bumps, like they were razor mountains, guys. Like, like, like I can go like, <laughs> yeah, and then like yeah. the credit card. And so I got her to do my armpits as well, and my hubby actually gets upset now, because I'm so hairless, I have like a couple stray ones left, that will grow like long, and he's like, what are you trying to do, braid those? Because I don't see them anymore, because it really does work. And, 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 oh, yeah, it's bad. It's bad. The struggle is real. But uh, the thing is, is like I said, I'm a wimp, right? I said I'd never go back to waxing after, and maybe it was also, you know, the lady who did it. But it's really, I'd say, no more painful than an elastic band snapping against your skin. Repeatedly. But it's literally I've, like elastic band. Elastic yeah, band, elastic I've, done band. It, I've done it as well, and I, and I have coarse hair. Um, I have really, really enthusiastic coarse hair. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love it here. Like, mm -hmm. I have great hair. But oh, then yeah. it, when people are like, yeah, you have great hair, I'm like, uh-huh, everywhere. Uh -huh. Everywhere. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, and I didn't, I didn't, I guess I didn't see it through. I didn't go enough. I didn't, you know, I, yeah, the, the, ex the expense and the maintenance and stuff like that. So, anyway, folks, um, you know, Hand Salon and Spa in Brampton, um, it's the one on uh, here, Ontario. Uh, and uh, Mayfield, uh, I'll get the address and link, of course, and then Ivory for um, laser. So some hair removal options, whether you're uh, plus size or not, hopefully that helps you out. I've seen a lot of uh, positive comments about that. So, yeah, um, that's a wrap for that segment. I hope you enjoyed that, and please, if you have somewhere, um, put it in the comments yeah, so that... Know. So that we can get some um, geographical resources for everybody. I'll even guinea pig myself. Right? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thumbs up. Um, share the video if you want to be entered into win the prize. You have really good odds. Um, okay. So um, upcoming events is um, who's going to be or no? Sorry, upcoming guests. So on the show, uh, the Facebook Live right here. Next week, November 22nd, we're going to have Sarah Taylor, um, plus size model, blogger, and speaker. And babe. Or, and babe, <laughs> uh, yeah, and former Miss Plus Canada, and um, assistant editor at Fabu Plus Magazine. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about Fabu Plus two weeks ago. Um, so join us for Sarah. Uh, November 29th, the, the following Tuesday, we're going to have Lisa, uh, blogger Mustang Sally 2. Uh, she's another babe, <laughs> Canadian plus size blogger, a brand ambassador. Um, she and I have a cool collaboration uh, going on behind the scenes to be released next year, so um, I'm not going to talk about that anymore. <laughs> um, December 6th, I have uh, Sophia Apostol. She's a body positive life coach helping women to stop waiting and start dating. Um, so you hear a lot about, there's a lot of life coaches out there, um, but Sophia's unique uh, element is about dating and how to... Um, you get know, yourself out there. get yourself out there, um, you know, break down, we were talking about stigma earlier, break down the stigma of, you know, she's a fat girl, therefore she has no confidence and she's easy. Yeah. Right. God, like how on. lame is that? Yeah. Um, so, um, so excited to have Sophia on December 6th, December 13th, we have, um, Jody Polak. So she's a plus size model and makeup artist. She's also modeled for a sexy plus. Uh, quite a few times you can see her on our Instagram page the one and with the short hair. Uh, yeah babe. yeah yeah total babe total <laughs> natural too and um, I first uh, noticed Jody when I was at uh, Montreal during uh, Montreal plus fashion week which is new from uh, 2016 mm -hmm. 
And um, Jody was one of the, uh, she lives in Toronto, but she was one of the models selected to walk the runway. And when I saw her during practice, during rehearsal, um, in one of the dresses for my collection, she was the most confident, sassiest one out of the bunch. She was amazing. And so I thought, I want to work with her. So we've, uh, she's modeled a few times for Sexy Plus. Love it. Um, upcoming events, November 25th. So that's coming up, um, I guess, next Friday, is uh, Crave Boudoir Photography um, uh, is hosting an event here called Curvy and Confident, uh, a body positivity meetup, um, an inspiring session featuring leaders in the body, positive, body positivity movement. So Sarah and Sophia will be guest speakers at that event. Um, we'll have um, a special deal on Sexy Plus clothing for shopping, and there will be um, light snacks and refreshments. And I mean, look inside here, guys. Look how cozy it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those chairs, the fireplace. Um, so come join us for like a really nice, elegant, chill evening, um, you know, with some shopping and with some inspiring ladies. Um, yeah, that's Friday, November 25th from 7 to 10. Um, it's uh, free, um, pay what you can. Um, so you can RSVP by emailing info at craveboudoir.com. I'll put that in the link. Um, and also, um, just to close up, um, sorry, I've been ignoring the comments. Um, Jody is such an amazing woman. That's right. Simone Denny says she's amazing. Jody is bomb, bomb, bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Katerina says she is. Um, so yeah, so um, Canadian confidence. So I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. So that's an initiative um, uh, uh, that started with blogger Tara. Um, her blog is Cloud14, Cloud14+. Plus. And so she had seen um, these Canadian, uh, these U.S. babes do a video about what <clears throat> people think plus-size women can or can't do and kind of breaking down and showing like, oh, you think that we can't, uh, you know, uh, wear tight dresses. Well, look at, here's all of us rocking, you know, these dresses. And um, so Tara had seen that and she kind of reached out to a bunch of us here um, uh, to do a Canadian version of, you know, what people think Canadian um, plus size women can or can't do. So we created uh, Canadian Confidence. I'm just going to look it up here and show you guys. So we got together. Um, there were 17 of us who got together and what we decided to do was um, help dispel uh, all of the myths that you see or the major myths that you see surrounding bigger bodies and um, with 17 body positive bloggers you know shop models. owners models photographers performers burlesque babes um, all jumping together under one roof um, to push this out it's going to be really really interesting so we've got a lot of teasers happening on our um, Instagram which Steph's bringing up right now that's um, at Canadian underscore confidence and uh, right now we all have um, moments where we can link into it and post which is awesome because you never really know who is curating the con uh, content from the 17 of us uh, but what we're doing is we're starting to get the buzz and the conversation going um, around uh, dispelling the sort of negative um, myths and you know assumptions that people attach to bigger bodies so things that, that we hear often are, you know, we can't wear loud prints, or we can't walk in heels, or we are not athletic, or we can't wear swimsuits. And be um, sexy in a two-piece. Like, you know, I don't know what's not sexy in this picture. Like, total babes, right? So this is just one of the sub-segments of that project where we're showing how, you know, fuller bodies can rock a two-piece, right? And so... You know, strength in numbers, for goodness sakes, it's the reason why this movement is getting the steam that it's getting. It's the reason why you guys are here right now. It's the reason why I'm here. It's the reason why little shops that could, like Sexy Plus, care about us and do things like this is because we have a bigger voice as a collective. Um, and it's time to, you know, cast off the bow lines and sail away from Safe Harbor and, and do all of the things that they say that we can't do. I mean, I am an archer. I'm a target shooter. I'm an avid uh, equestrian. I ski regularly. I literally was like basically born on skis. Um, I have um, flown birds of prey, believe it or not. Uh, what else do I do? Um, I plan to take my husband alligator wrestling. Like, 
get out there, grab the bull by the horns and, and be active. I know so many awesome babes who do that, who, you know, jump into the deep end and, and start their own business for goodness sakes. Cause they notice a niche and they notice a need and then they provide for it. Yeah. Snowmobiling. <laughs> Okay. I'm there with just, adrenaline just one, junkie. Just one of the ones we didn't mention, you know. So, yeah, be sure to follow Canadian Confidence because, um, you know, we got together. We put a lot of work into creating the video. Uh, it should come out either December or January. We're looking for right? 2017. It's finishing getting edited by, by, Dece by um, December, so you'll get some sneak peeks. And then 2017, we want to start the year off right with some awesome babeliness for you guys. Here's one of the... Um, photographer videographers that uh you know helped record my and design yeah thank you to design, my design studio. studio for doing this thank you for um where's at my zero two cents is another one. Oh yeah yeah i was thinking of uh, dave reed and styles international that's uh another wonderful human who lent us the uh studio, studio space and that was yeah. connected to one of our beautiful collective girls uh the fabulous annika reed of at the stylish reed so this is literally a team of babes bringing you some serious, fierce babeliness. Uh, and it's it's worth checking out and then getting out there and, you know, post, cross-reference us. When you're doing something cool that they say that plus babes can't do, for goodness sake, sakes, hashtag Canadian confidence. Right. Because we're out here, you know, every single day we're living this life and why not, right? Yeah. And the more noise we make, the more we are going to become mainstream yeah. and normal. Yep. Like we have to make a well, thing I don't of it. Well, that that be normal. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, loops. But scratch that. Liquid <laughs> yeah, paper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Back phase. <laughs> oh man, what a great show. Um, Teresa, we need to go to the shop. Cynthia, yes, yes please do. do come. It's in Mississauga. Um, open six days a week. Uh, we're just closed on Mondays. There's uh, parking right in front, um, and we're in an industrial unit, so it's kind of off the beaten path. But it's very uh, intimate, comfortable, um, you know, and and I'm pretty good at what I do. You get, Damn you right. know, you already get the the services of a of a stylist as part of your normal shopping experience. And I may or may not have some Werthers left, but <laughs> I keep on eating them. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks so much for joining. That uh, kind of wraps it up. Um, we'll put all kinds of crazy links right now after this. We may watch it first to critique ourselves, but then after about five minutes, then we'll put the links. <laughs> Thank you um, to Ivory, our special guest. My pleasure. Love you. My pleasure. Love you too, girl. Um, and thanks, everybody, for all those thumbs up. Remember to share. Yeah, thank you, Come back and comment, share. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, we got some crazy uh, thumbs up and hearts going on there. I think it was, was definitely one of the most fun shows. So good night. See you next Tuesday. Bye, everybody. Bye.